Hello everyone, today I would like to share my experience of using this Sapphire Audio A8 Class D amplifier. They are featuring Ice Power module which is a 125ASX2 Class D amplification. They are rated for 68 watts at 8 ohm load, 125 watts at 4 ohm load in stereo mode. If you switch them to mono mode, you can get up to 270 watts and 500 watts of dynamic power in full on load in mono blocks mode. Overall fit and finish and build quality is very good. Solid aluminum chassis with very simplified layout. Whether you're gonna use them in stereo mode or you want to use them in mono blocks, which I use them in both mode and I like the way they sounded. Whether stereo or mono mode, they have a very similar sound quality. Mono mode, it's only enhance your overall driving power and dynamic power output. So that is a very good to have. And operation temperature of these are A8 amplifiers around like 85 degree Fahrenheit to 88, 89, depending on how loud I was playing so that is a no major issue that's why I place them apart like this in stereo mode or mono mode you can turn up the volume control knob all the way and probably you will not hear the background white noise like many other class D amplifier will do which is very quiet design so I try that you know I raise volume control knob to one o'clock position and there is no noise at all, so very quiet class D amplification that you can have. So overall fit and finish and price and sound quality that you are getting, I don't think I can complain anything other than this uh, little uh, plasticky knobs. So other than that, I have no problem. I like the design, I like the uh, build quality. Overall sound quality is good, clean sound quality, but there is a little bit of warmish sound signature in upper bass to mid-range area so that is the one thing that i would like to remind you so when i was using them in mono mode with my kef r11 speaker overall sound quality is very good but i would like to have a little bit more transparent a little bit more instrument separation between upper bass to upper mid-range region high frequencies are very good, well extended with the very nice instrument separation with good refinement to it. So other than that, I have no problem, but overall synergy wise, this KEF R11 and this Sabai A8 is not my favorite. Then I switch over to this JBS Studio 530 with this mono blocks, and then that is the much better match and much better enhancement in terms of sound quality. So that's why we always talk about better synergy. So based on my experience, I try with this uh, JBS Studio 530 as well as ELEC Unified Reference and Klipsch RP Series, etc. They sounded very good together. So sound quality can totally change with the uh, pairing component synergy. So I was using this as Loxy D40 pre deck I'm using the uh, XLR connection using Belden 8402 cable. Sound reproduction out of that combination is nothing but very good. I mean, as well as anything that you can have in under $2,000 package, speakers and deck and amplifier package. So this combination can be game changer. Studio 530, these three components probably put you under $1,500 and you got incredible sound quality out of them. So I try them in both mono and stereo mode using these two different speakers. I clearly prefer JBL Studio 530 in terms of synergy and overall better match in you know, sound reproduction in my system with this Sabai A8 mono blocks. So in the stereo mode or mono mode, the sound quality is very much comparable. In mono mode, what you will notice is a little bit more better control and a little bit more uh, authoritative sound quality other than, you know, that very good headroom that you will have using them in mono mode.
Overall noise floor is non-existent. Sound quality, price to performance, I have nothing to complain. What you are paying for is incredible bargain in my opinion. So you are getting very good dynamic power and headroom to drive any kind of speakers. All you need to do is just match them properly to get the best sound quality out of them because due to they have a slightly warmish sound signature from upper bass to mid-range region so which is you know put them easier to pair with probably any kind of speakers but I will suggest you to pair them with speakers such as JBL Studio Series, KF, uh, Q series or like a ELEC Unified Reference or Reference Series as well as Clips uh, Reference Series. They will sound really nice. Reference Premier, by the way. So those kind of uh, you know speaker choices uh, as well as also you can also pair them with the Bowers and Wilkins 600 series. And some may wonder how would they compare to amplifiers such as uh, SMS uh, AO200. I, out of curiosity, I try them back to back in stereo mode. What I notice is the Sabai AA have the a little bit more authoritative and better bass control. SMS uh, AO200 is a little bit more transparent and slightly more refined sound signature in upper frequency range. But this AA is not too far behind, very much comparable. It only depends on your personal taste and your preference. In my opinion, this Sabai AA has the incredible amount of power and price and sound quality that you can have. And also out of curiosity, I try with my passive free amplifier as well, which can also slightly improve in terms of transparency in sound quality. So that's what I did with my in my system with this AA amplifiers. All in all, what I like about them is price and power and sound quality that you can get out of just barely over $500. So if you buy two of them for mono block use, you can get around like $520 and you got 500 watts of dynamic range for full ohm load. So which is incredibly good. And these are really good for, you know, using them as your location amp. Let's say you have a very, big uh, 11 point something surround system. So you just connect using the uh, XLR cable and put the amplifier next to your speaker or you know nearby location and that will be incredibly convenient for that sort of application as well in home theater use. This Sabai A8Ms may have a warmish sound signature and engaging sound quality, but I would like to remind you, it does also will brings you ability to brings you transparency for your playing music. So whatever the music you throw them in, they will deliver as good as original recorded music. So we which brings you good transparency as well as good engaging tonality with warmish sound signature. Some people may prefer using them as the uh, subwoofer M, which can totally capable of driving, you know, your passive subwoofer. So this is the uh, amplifier that truly impressed me with in terms of sound quality and price and performance ratio. Highly recommended, my friend. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
Thank you.